Welcome back to Building with Bud. Got a little project today. So we're going to get the skirting board around all here. First mission is just to use the hoover, make sure all the little bits of dirt are up so it's not in our way. So we'll see how we get on. I just get my an old chisel and just scrape up all the little nudge or bits what the glass was left. Just get most of it up. And just give that a scrape because what you don't want is when you put your your skirting board down be gone like that so we just get the bits off literally do that get my hoover so that's what we do we'll do that all the way around the edge of the room and that just makes it so much easier when you can fix your skirt get every little bit give it makes it easier for you okay we're using a nice little uh measuring device here so we've got to go from point a to point b and we the key to this is get that nice level, that'll give you that spot on accurate measurement. Let's see what we got. Let's try it again. Yes. 3677, that's what I had. Yeah. Spot on. And that's yeah. that's that easy. This is a fantastic bit. <laughs> Okay, right, I've cut my first piece of skirting, this torus, and then we'll see if it's off there, get it in there, just try and move along, let's have a look. Ah, oh, that's good, that's a good fit, that. So what we'll do next is, we'll get some uh, glue on the back of that, glue it and stick it, and then we'll get some pins and turf. Right, time for some glue, take the little connector off there, we can go too mad because we've got a pin it. I just need to get a little glue on. Just a little bit of shape like that. I prefer this particular make. I just find that it's not too thick. Some of the glues you use are way, way too thick. You push them out. That, that doesn't go anywhere with this will squeeze. So I'm not going to go mad because we've got a pin it as well. And what I'm doing is you can see down here, each one of these little black marks is where there's an upright. So when I come to pin it, I know exactly where I've got to put a pin into. And on this first bit of skirting, that's a square cut each end. And as we progress, you'll see the different cuts we have to do to make it work. Right, that's enough on there. Okay, so we're ready now to get the old board in there. Push it in that corner. Give it one of them. you got that, what we'll do now is we'll use the old pin gun. Right, before I start, we know that these marks are where the operates are, but what I do, I get this, and I put all my lead and stone on it, and that just holds it to the surface. Right, make sure we're turned on, see what we can do. Got that one in there, probably just want a little more adjustment. Right, find the bad boy. There we go, look, we've got a plus and a minus. So one goes in and one, one is not so far. Yep, she's rolling lovely. A little further. Right, I've got that one there now. Let's try again. This is where you see how good your plaster is. That all fits, no big gaps behind there. That's, that's what you're after, you get a good plaster. Okay, because I don't want to hold this, I just want to keep hold it in place. So what I do is just put a piece of wood on it, an off cut, get the cramp like that, go like that, and then what you do is you don't get no marks on your on your face or your timber. Just put that. It's a simple little thing that makes all the difference. Right, so I'm going to cut a scrub off, cut a 45, and what I like to do is just put a little pencil mark on there. Like that. That's what we're aiming for. Look. You can see the shape a little easier. Put a little pencil mark on there. So I've got that and I marked that. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll get my hand saw and we'll try and cut this. If you look on this side, when you normally cut, stay there, I'll just get this one shot. If you were to cut what I call properly, you'd cut a no straight line like that there. But what we're gonna do is we've got to just cut away a bit. 
and that's called a bag cap because this it's only this bit which got to meet the other piece of skirt so let's see what we can do get a start hardest to get a start right so i've got a little bite do one more yeah. so look you know what i'm cutting away from it I wish I can see my pencil line, it's a little bit easier to aim for. This back setup doesn't matter how they come, that's this front elevation you've got to look at. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that now, I'm just going to move around there. Right, I'm, nearly, I'm nearly at this point here, so I'll have to stop in a second. Change saws. So next we use a coupon saw, old fashioned coupon saw. I'll put it straight. And what I'm after is, I just want to cut that one as square as I can. Because that bit has got to meet this side. Right, so let's get in there, just cut him down first then. Get rid of that. Right, that we can lose. So now this is where it gets tricky. Just change the triangle. Do that up. When I got to give that a back cut like we did, we want to, rather than go straight, we want to go at an angle. So let's see what we can do. Let's take it nice and slow. You no, know, you can't see it. I'm cutting away from that, so I'm up. So if you went underneath you had a bigger hole and you got at the top. You can't rush it. Well, once I get this far, I'm going to cut over halfway, I'll take the saw out, and what we'll do is we'll just get rid of that bit. Let's just get that in there. Well actually, I'm going to try and cut to that shape there. Lean it way back. That should fall over soon. Okay? Let's pull him out. Get him out, right. So, so we've got a duff bit there, that's no problem. Because that's not what we've seen. I'll just tie it up now. Give it one end, a little back cut. Good. Right, I'll, I'll move around and we'll try and cut that last little piece out. So, there we go, we're on it. And as you see, we're now meeting a sec. We just get round here. Right, that's that. There. Just a little more. Get rid of that. That one's sore. Now we've just got to get a little bit off of that. It's a fine line between getting a little bit off and it's disappearing. Sometimes you cut it and you cut through that, you can't be off it. That's where they'll paint that, do his magic work. That's that. Right, that one's, I'm happy with that one. I've just that little piece there, that little nudge will just try that that way. Then I think we're there. That's good, that's good. I look above that, you can see nothing protruding out. If I go and get a little off cut, attempt to put it in the actual position, I'll just try it. And that's what we call a lovely, lovely cut look. That's straight, come around there. That's what we're trying to achieve. Okay, so now we've cut it to the actual physical length from there to the other end and see if we can fit it. What's the measurement, boss? That's 2959. 2959, right, this one cut it, brilliant. Let's see if it fit. Put that bad boy in there, pull him around, put my little knee pad. 
That's a lovely nice. That's so a good boy. Oh, that's sweet, that is. Let's get that end in. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that. Right, I always just put a little splash in there, only a little bit. That'll do. That's all I need. Now we'll just get a bit on here. And we just slightly angle it. So you can see there look how good the plaster is, you've got nothing, any gap at all really. Paint is what I love that. Mind you, the paint will get all the glory anyway. Paint as they come in, oh you've done a lovely job. Right, have another look. 11 star. 11 star, I'd love to wear 11 star. corner look at that now oh, what a difference that's starting to make oh yeah food bits of skirt we'll get that last one fixed then we can do the section around the door look at that sweet as nice yeah look at that one there Okay, so our next section, if we was to take a little step back, I'm making shows. I know we've got a skirting at the bottom there, and we can put arches around the top. So then that's a little bit more intricate, so we'll show you how we've got to do the detail. And what we're in, in effect doing is, that's got to fit like so, and that's got to fit there. But to get the length of this, I'll set this up first. So what I'm going to do is I'll set me square up at 6mm. And basically, look, I mark that like so. I mark that all the way around. And that will sit at that point. Get in there, see that pencil mark there and the pencil mark there. That's got to sit like that. And this will go there. So that's now, that's our length. So we've got to cut a scribe, that end. And we'll cut a straight joint, this end. So that will go like that, into a scribe there. And then we'll show you about doing some art in a little while. Um, right, I'm going to show you a little tip, okay, if you've never done nothing like cutting out this shape before, the best thing to do is we get, we'll take the angle with a bevel, so we've got that shape, and what we try to do is bisect that so we get the same angle here as we get there, so what we'll do is, I'll show you a little trick, we're going to mark this on a piece of skirt. Right, so I've got that shape, we took off the, the building, what I'll do is I'll mark the line there, and the same there, and we'll go again. Continue that, continue that, I'll do another one, there, make sure that's perfectly true, get that like that, like that, now what we do now is we get that, we go like so, there, and there, and now what we do now is we get the bevel and we go from that point, to that point there and that should be our angle so what we'll do we'll cut two little bits and we'll see if it works just the prime on that's one bit so now we've got to cut the opposite to that so if we go there and now we'll go and try that and see if that, that'll work let's go have a little look so okay, so I'm going to cut two little dummy bits, that's the angle, that's what works, so we'll now cut this one, get this fitted, and then we can cut the same one the other side, then we can do the top a little later. Brilliant. So now I know that's the right angle, I put that one there, and put a little pencil mark there, I bring that one down, and get to that point, and now I measure from that point to the floor, and that's my longest section. 17, 16, we'll go there, we've got the cutlery set up, Get that bad boy there. We'll drop it down dry, make sure that we're somewhere there. Should we have a little go? Okay, I'll just put on this one nice to first top 
car. That's my angle set up. Right, we're going to check it. Turn it on, all those Alps. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's set up that will work. Yeah, cool. It's cool now for my little margin line, the same little pencil marks. So I've done that earlier. Just see the pencil mark there. And we're now we're fitting our truth. Look, see that pencil mark? That's our margin. And one more. See the pencil mark? You can just pull it in a little bit. And we'll put one more. That's that's nice. That is. So now look, you can see. You can see when I got the skirting, meeting the arch and then we'll do the same that side, and then we'll mess around this little head. Okay, so this mark, we've got that first bit cut there. That's got to sit there, we've got to get him up there, like that. That'll fit like that. That's our centre point, and it's got to go up there like so. Okay, we're going to cut that. Top angle's different, so we'll get that there. Okay, let's go make a template for that. There, that one there. It's just got to come over a little bit more. There we go. That's there. So now we'll take the shape, do the top cut again. Let's see what we got. We just do a little back cut on that, I think. Yep, yeah, that's that shape. So we've got to get one from there to there next. And that will be somewhere in the region of something like if we go 360 along. Right, so that is yeah. that's that angle. Same angle. Yeah. yeah. So that's there, that's my centre point. And then we've got to get our cut like so. So that's T for T. Right, I'll sort that out. Coming along now, looking nice. Let's see if we can get this top bit to fit. Drop him up there. Oh, sweet as. Sweet as a nut, that. I think we'll pin that in there, boss. Let's go for it. Awesome, that's that, that. So now I can finish pinning this. Okay, I think if you have a little pan around the room now from start to finish, we're there. Lovely. Look good. Yeah, Arctra's on. 